top of the pops, the iconic British music chart television program offered a pulsating, vibrant platform that bore witness to some of the most electric and memorable performances in pop music history. Join Facts vs. UK as we present the best ever top of the pops performances. The Beatles Can't Buy Me Love the Beatles, arguably one of the most influential bands in the history of music, delivered a spirited performance of Can't Buy Me Love on Top of the Pops in 1964. At a time when Beatlemania was at its peak, John, Paul, George, and Ringo brought an energy and charisma to the stage that was palpable, even through the television screen. Their harmonized vocals, coupled with their iconic, synchronized performances, created a spectacle that was both visually and audibly delightful. This performance is often hailed as a classic due to its embodiment of the excitement and innovation of the 1960s pop and rock scene. The Rolling Stones Paint It Black in 1966, the Rolling Stones brought Paint It Black to Top of the Pops, delivering a performance that was both enigmatic and emblematic of the evolving music scene of the 60s. With Mick Jagger's distinctive vocals and the band's signature rock and roll swagger, the performance showcased the Stones' ability to blend traditional rock with experimental sounds, as evidenced by Brian Jones playing a sitar, introducing a wider audience to the instrument. The performance is often noted for its fusion of rock with a more psychedelic sound, reflecting the shifting musical landscape of the time, as well as the Stones' willingness to explore and innovate. David Bowie, Starman David Bowie's performance of Starman in 1972 is not only one of the most iconic moments in Top of the Pops history, but also a pivotal point in Bowie's career. With his flamboyant, androgynous Ziggy Stardust persona, Bowie challenged traditional norms and introduced audiences to a new, bold form of self-expression. The performance, featuring Bowie draping his arm around guitarist Mick Ronson, was seen as a daring move, breaking down barriers and challenging the status quo of popular music and culture. Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, performed on Top of the Pops in 1975, is renowned for its operatic and progressive rock style, which was groundbreaking at the time. Freddie Mercury, with his powerful vocals and charismatic stage presence, led the band in a performance both theatrical and musically intricate. The song, with its complex structure and blend of rock and opera, was a daring departure from conventional pop and rock music. Their performance is often hailed for its audacity and originality, showcasing Queen's musical prowess and their willingness to push boundaries. Bohemian Rhapsody remains one of the most celebrated and innovative tracks in rock history, and its performance on top of the pops is remembered as a moment where the band solidified their place in musical history. Sex Pistols, Pretty Vacant the Sex Pistols' performance of Pretty Vacant on Top of the Pops in 1977 was a defining moment in the punk rock movement. The band, known for their rebellious spirit and raw, aggressive sound, brought an energy to the stage that was markedly different from the polished performances often seen on the show. With Johnny Rotten's snarling vocals and the band's anarchic energy, the Sex Pistols represented a counterculture movement rapidly gaining traction. The performance is often cited as a moment where punk rock was thrust into the mainstream, challenging the established norms of the music industry and providing a platform for a new, rebellious generation of musicians and fans. The Smiths, This Charming Man the Smiths, with their performance of This Charming Man on Top of the Pops in 1983, brought a fresh indie pop sound to the mainstream. Morrissey, with his distinctive voice and enigmatic presence, alongside Johnny Marr's jangly guitar, presented a style that was a departure from the synth pop prevalent at the time. Morrissey's performance with his emotive delivery became a defining image of 1980s indie rock. The Smiths have been credited with influencing a generation of indie bands, and their Top of the Pops performance is often cited as a pivotal moment in showcasing alternative music to a wider audience. Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit Nirvana's performance of Smells Like Teen Spirit on Top of the Pops in 1991 is iconic, not just for the song itself, but for the band's rebellious spirit during the performance. The show's producers insisted Kurt Cobain mime his vocals, leading to a notably sarcastic performance where Cobain sang in an exaggerated deep voice while the band barely pretended to play their instruments. 
This act of defiance against the show's norms has been celebrated as a punk rock moment on mainstream television, embodying the grunge movement's spirit of rebellion and disillusionment with the establishment. It's often highlighted as a moment where the rawness and rebellion of grunge were thrust into the living rooms of mainstream audiences. Oasis, roll with it. Oasis, with their Britpop anthem Roll With It in 1995, represented the cultural zeitgeist of the time. The Gallagher brothers, with their confident swagger and the band's anthemic sound, became symbols of the Britpop era. Their performance on Top of the Pops was at a time when Oasis were embroiled in a chart battle with Blur, making it a significant moment in the Britpop rivalry that dominated UK music news. Oasis's straightforward rock and roll sound, coupled with their charismatic and occasionally controversial appearances on shows like Top of the Pops, helped cement their legacy as one of the defining bands of the 90s, representing a resurgence of British guitar bands in popular music. Blur Country House Blur's performance of Country House on Top of the Pops in 1995 was amidst the height of the Britpop battle with Oasis. The song, with its catchy melody and satirical lyrics, represented the band's quintessentially British style. The performance, featuring Damon Albarn's energetic and cheeky stage presence, showcased Blur's ability to blend pop melodies with smart, satirical content. Country House eventually won the chart battle against Oasis's role with it, and the performance is often remembered as a triumphant moment in the Blur vs. Oasis rivalry. Britney Spears, Baby One More Time Britney Spears' performance of Baby One More Time on Top of the Pops in 1999 marked a moment where pop music was shifting towards a new era of teen pop stars. With her schoolgirl outfit and highly choreographed dance routines, Britney brought a fresh, youthful energy to the pop scene. The song, with its catchy chorus and slick production, became a global hit, and Britney's performance on the show, with its blend of innocence and maturity, became iconic of the late 90s pop era. It's often cited as a moment when the pop landscape was shifting towards a new, polished pop sound. The Who, My Generation the Who's performance of My Generation on Top of the Pops in 1965 was a defining moment in rock history, encapsulating the rebellious spirit of the 1960s youth. Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend, John Entwistle, and Keith Moon brought an explosive energy to the stage, with Daltrey's stuttering vocals and Townsend's aggressive guitar riffs symbolizing a break from the status quo and a defiance against the establishment. The performance, with its raw energy and the band's mod image, became emblematic of the era's counterculture and youth rebellion. My Generation has since been celebrated as an anthem of youthful defiance and is often cited in discussions about 1960s rock and roll and its impact on culture and society. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember seeing any of these on Top of the Pops? Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below.